2022 is fast approaching. It will be here in no time. That is why I'm here to talk to you about making a vision board. I am about to make my vision board and I thought it would be a good idea to share because I know there's a lot of people out there like, what the heck is a vision board? Well, a vision board is basically a collage. I'm sure that many of you have made a collage when you were kids in school, a collage of pictures of your friends, the wedding dresses that you wanted for your wedding day. Whatever your dream or your goal was, you made a collage for it. At least I did. I know a lot of my girlfriends did as well. That's basically what a vision board is. What it represents is your vision of your future. So whatever dreams, goals that you want to accomplish next year, three years from now, five years from now, 10 years from now, you're going to create a vision of that and place it on your board. Now where do you put this board you can use a poster board you can use a piece of paper you can put it on a template in your computer i'm a paper person i prefer to write things down and they actually say i mean there's a lot of evidence that points to the fact that you remember things a lot easier when you write them down i want to be able to wake up in the morning and see what i've created for my vision for my future I think when you do that, when you can see it every day, when you wake up and, and you've created it by hand and you're looking at it, it makes you want to work towards achieving those goals that much stronger. Creating daily habits of visualization, looking at your vision board, whatever it is that you put on your vision board that you want to accomplish, you're more likely to accomplish it if you can see it written down. I think that's probably why a lot of people give up on the resolutions that they set at the beginning of the year because they've forgotten about it. They've moved on to other things. But if you have a vision board that represents what you want to accomplish by the end of the year, by the end of five years, if you're looking at that every day, then you're going to want to work towards that every day. You're just going to set little goals for yourself that become habits. They all add up. And each day you do them, you get closer and closer until December 31st is around again and your goals are accomplished. What you had on your vision board has manifested itself into reality. You can make it happen and a vision board can help you. That's why I am so keen on creating one for myself. Before you begin, figure out what it is that you wanna put on the board because you're not just going to grab a piece of paper or a poster and just start writing things down. You wanna really, really think about what you want to accomplish next year. I like to journal. You know, I like to write things down, like I said, and get it all out of my head. What is it that I want to do? I'm also thinking about what is it that I have to do? Once you've journaled all of your thoughts and what you want to accomplish, you're going to write them down. I'd say choose between three and five of them. You're gonna to wanna to figure out how you want to display that goal on your vision board. Think about the different things that you can include, pictures, quotes, you name it. You're gonna gather all of the items that you thought of and that you need to create your board. And it's okay if you, you know, don't fill up every space on the board because you can always add to it. We should be constantly thinking of our vision for our future. And you know, sometimes the way that we get there, it changes. You know, our course changes a little bit but we're still headed in the same direction to accomplish that goal. But over the course of 365 days, it's not gonna be a straight line. And if there's something that gets you there a little bit faster, then maybe you might wanna add that activity onto the board. There are lots of different things that you can use to create your vision board, as I've mentioned. I'm going to use this poster board. You can use pens, pencils, color pencils, crayons, pictures, magazines, newspapers, greeting cards tissue paper, craft items, tape, glue, whatever you wanna use, whatever will give it that personal touch, add it to your board. Once you have everything, you have your three to five goals, you have all of the materials that you wanna use, you're gonna start mapping out your vision board. 
So you're going to put everything on the board where you want it to be. So basically you're lining everything up, but you're not gluing or taping anything just yet. Once you're happy with the placement of your items, then you can start gluing them on. And when I'm finished that, my vision board is done. I hope that you take this as an opportunity to learn a little bit more about yourself, especially in the journaling exercise, because we don't always know what we really want. And that's one of the best reasons why we should be writing things down, because when they're just floating in your head, they're just ideas. It's when you put them on paper that they become real. So grab a cup of coffee, some hot chocolate, some tea, Take some time for yourself to journal your vision for your future. Write out three to five goals that you wanna accomplish. Figure out how you want to design your future on your vision board. And then start making them stick. And then when it's done, define a place where you're gonna see it every day and display it prominently. Every day is important. You wanna be thinking about your goals because the little things that you're doing each day, you want them to move you forward. That's how we make things happen. I want you guys to accomplish the goals that you set for yourself. I want to accomplish the goals that I set for myself. That's why I'm making a vision board. I would really enjoy seeing uh, some of your work. You can uh, find my contact information down below. Let me know how it, how it worked for you. Even just the process of thinking about what you want to accomplish next year, that's a win right there because not a lot of people do that. We set resolutions for surface items, but when you actually dig a little deeper, you find that that surface item is not really what you want, not the goal that you really wanna set for yourself. There's something more. I hope that you're able to discover that and I hope that you're able to work towards making that come true. Vision boards help. Good luck with yours. I hope everybody has a very safe and happy new year. Bye.